one of the most popular framework for creating AI agents is Autogen. Autogen is not only awesome in terms of its features, but it is also quite flexible. But with this flexibility comes a bit of complications of installing and setting it up. I already have done few videos on Autogen as how to get it installed locally and play around with it. But still, I have received a lot of comments that it is a bit hard for some people, especially the ones who don't really want to tinker with a lot of configuration. That is where this new tool Autogen comes handy. It is quite innovative tool that offers an accessible yet powerful platform for creating and managing AI agents and workflows using Autogen at the backend. It's very easy to install, it's very uh, user friendly and it is coupled with a robust underlying API that provides a unique blend of simplicity and sophistication. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, Autogen Studio really makes you um, at ease with these AI agents and in this video I am going to show you how you can get it installed locally and then how you can play around with it studio in terms of AI agents, their skills and their workflows. So let's get started. Before I install this studio, I would highly suggest that you install a mini conda on your system because that is going to keep everything nice, clean and separate without impacting your original systems installations. And if you don't have a mini conda, then just go to this website, which is anaconda.com and then from there just install um, miniconda for your operating system i am on the windows so i am just installing this exe file so just double click it it is going to download an exe file double click click and it is going to install miniconda on your system then maybe also give it a restart if it is windows it's always a good idea and then just click on this search bar here type anaconda and you will see we have anaconda powershell prompt just click on it and it is going to open this anaconda here and first time when you will open it you will see that there is written base in parenthesis just to conda deactivate just to get out of it clear the screen and now the first thing we need to do is to create a conda environment so this is the conda environment i'm calling it a auto gen studio with python 3.11 so let's click here it is going to create a virtual environment with conda everything installed nice and clean on your system just press y here and let's wait for it to finish our environment is set and now let's activate this autogen studio which means that we will step into this environment as you can see now it is shown in parenthesis let me clear the screen next step you would need to do is to set your open ai's api key so you would need to do open ai api underscore key you can also use azure's key if you don't have it go to platform.openai.com sign up it's a paid option you would have to pay uh, put in like ten dollars in it to get your api key so and then you can set it in your powershell and I am going to use this following command to set the environment variable with the name OpenAI's API key with the value which I will put in here and clear the screen. I have set my key and those are all the prerequisites. Now in the next step, all we need to do is to install this Autogen Studio with the help of pip. So make sure you have Python and pip installed. Hopefully I have it already. So it is going to install this Autogen Studio here. So let's wait for it to finish it will take a minute or two autogen studio is installed in the next step after clearing the screen all you need to do in order to start this autogen studio is to type this command autogen studio space ui and then you will see that autogen is running on your local host at port 8081 so let me access it on that port So this is my browser and you see that at localhost port 8081 our autogen is running let me make it a bit more bigger so that you'll be able to see much better now so 
this is how easy it is to install autogen studio on your local system now if you want to get started we have this build section this is where first you build your skills skill is um, the simply a python function what you want your agent to do so for example you can just want to fetch a profile generate images and then once you have your skills you can go to your models as you can see because i have put in my um, open is key so it is going with gpt4 you can go with open source model too if you like and then here you can create an agent which will use the skills you have defined above and for agent orchestration where you want multiple agents to interact with each other you can define a workflow this is a playground where you can test whatever you are building so let's go to the build section from here first let's go to skill on the right hand side click on new skill and then you can simply define a skill here and then and it has automatically um, given you something i'm not going to use that one i guess it is maybe we will how is that maybe we'll just say save there you go. so this is our skill and then for instance you want to go to agents then click on new agent here and then sample assistant sample oh, that is fine i'll just keep everything as is and then you can click on skills here and this let's use this skill which we have just added you can increase a temperature here which increases the creativity of the model which is in our case gpt4 and then click on okay and you see sorry and you see that we also have a system message you can change it as per your use case click ok here and agent has been created in the workflows you can simply create a new workflow and then here i'm not going to use it but you can simply uh, define more agents you can define the whole workflow as what is the sender what is the receiver you can uh, when you click on receiver you can select a different receiver from here or you can uh, simply use any other agent so that is how simple it is and then if you want to test your stuff out just click on playground and then you can click on new session or you can just click on general workflow and then click on create here and this is your general workflow which you want to use or you can use your own agent for example if i or because i haven't created the workflow with that one so for example if you want to create a new workflow with your own agent you can define it here so let me go back to playground and i'll just select this general agent workflow you want to go to check with travel so you have just selected travel and this is the agent working as you go on the top so it is plan a two-day trip to hawaii limit to three activities per day be as brief as possible an agent is working on the task so you see that how easy it is to create these agents the skills and all that stuff and i already have covered these agents and skills in great detail in my other autogen video i will be making more videos on it to show you an end-to-end -end stuff as how this works there you go so it has given you this is a log what exactly it has done day one day two day three how good is that and behind the scene it is using the using the tools and stuff and you don't have to worry about any sort of um, underlying ai which is running if you go into the gal uh, gallery you can just use any of the items from the gallery but we don't have any so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about autogen studio fairly easy tool just a user interface to create your agentic software if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching